this is gonna be very tough, but um, it is kind of like a yeah, it is kind of like a um a lockdown Thanos deck to a certain extent. Um, but like I said, I am excited to give it a shot as he destroys all of my stones, which actually isn't that bad because now it frees up some room. So I will kind of gladly take that one. Uh, the only thing that does suck though is... Yeah, I'm kind of stuffed on uh, the power discrepancy because his carnage is insanely strong. <laughs> yeah, so not necessarily the greatest first game for us. So I'm just going to have to retreat here, which, you know, it does suck, but it is what it is. We kind of got some crummy locations. So regardless, GG's to my friend. <laughs> solid hand. I like that I have Ant-Man first up, but we do have a weird world, which is really annoying. It also sucks because I don't have the reality stone, which if I did have it, automatically you'd place it at weird world. Uh, but the only good thing is that I kind of know what deck he's running with. It's like a collector deck. So he's going to have a lot of cards that do uh, add other cards into my hand. Of course, we get the collapsed mine, which is pretty crummy. And yep, there's Snow God. So I could probably go collect up on the left with Snow God as well. So that's definitely not too bad. And then Deep Space. I swear I haven't seen that in so long. But I get Elsa Bloodstone, which is um interesting because I'm pretty sure um that's the same Elsa I have. So yeah. Um, of course, Reality Stone, very nice, but Dream Dimension is pretty crummy. Ah, uh, let's see. So, I'll probably just go Elsa. I don't really want to go Soul Stone on the left, but I kind of have to, right? Yeah. I mean, it does get that boost. And then my Ant-Man does activate. He plays Loki. Uh, the thing is, though, is that he doesn't have Collector, so I don't really know what his plan was there. I do have Valkyrie, though. That's really nice. Um, I'm actually going to go Snow God Bear because I feel pretty good because uh, it should fill up the location with rocks. And if I'm lucky, I should have enough power to just beat him straight up at the middle because he would have to skip in order to get rid of the rocks. Okay, definitely not too bad. I love to see that. I'm going to snap and might as well just drop a Thanos. I don't really see how this guy can win because again... I mean, to be fair, he has armor, so the rocks can't even destroy them in a deep space, so, yeah. I mean, I kind of got fortunate that they didn't have enough power there. So, I mean, GG's to my opponent. Alrighty, uh, very, very good set of cards say. So I'll probably go Ant-Man just down the middle for now. Just let's just see what these other locations are before I decide to play my ghost. <laughs> oh, of course a death's domain which actually isn't that bad considering that I do have a uh, Ant-Man already there. But he's running a movement deck with that Craven which is kind of annoying. Into a Luke cage. Yeah, that's not too bad. And he plays Spider Man, so yep, there's that movement aspect of it. Of course, he moves my Elsa over, which is pretty annoying, like I was. 
was saying. Uh, I'm gonna probably turn my stern into a space stern. The good thing is that I do have a Valkyrie, so if he does somehow get that Craven up to pretty high power, um, I can just always Valkyrie it anyway, so like I said, I feel pretty good. I even have a loot gauge, which stops my cards from going down. Uh, so he played, yeah, Iron Fist, he's going to move that card over, which is Cloak. Yeah, just so he can get up. The power going. Yeah, I figured something like that would happen, but reality stone into the time stone. Very nice. Definitely not too bad here. Wow, we actually have some really good cards. So I'll probably just go the soul stone there. Probably the time stone there. The power stone there. And then I'll spice it up with the reality stone down the middle. Just because it's going to change it and hopefully it should be a good change. Um, oh, I do have my Valkyrie which I can drop down the middle but who knows what they've played on the left. I would like to think I would get Thanos on turn 6 because he's going to be a 20 power, which would be nice. Oh, great, the werewolf by night. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. It is what it is. Okay, so we get Spectrum. Uh, definitely not too bad. Thunder 
embarrassed if I were to ever get, um, yeah, if I would ever get over stirred down, that would have ruined it right there, but probably just do something like this. I feel like that's not a bad choice. Maybe I could have gone claw down the middle, but claw on the left feels pretty nice. Oh wow, there goes this Lady Ella. <laughs> and there goes the retreat, which usually when you see Lady Ella get discarded, <laughs> you kind of know they're going to retreat, so kind of does suck for them, but I mean, I guess GG's as well. But I mean, yeah guys, yeah guys, yeah guys, that's it for this video, video, video. Let me know what you guys think about the deck down in the comments below. And also, if you guys did enjoy it, Please make sure to give this a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to show support. I do appreciate all of you.